Hello, you're listening to Cricket World Radio. And this is the News Roundup podcast. Coming up, a rundown of the latest cricket news from all around the world. The deadlock between Zimbabwe and Bangladesh was finally broken in the third one-day international in Bulawayo. After the Test Series had been tied and with the ODI Series locked at one all, Vusi Sabanda followed up a disciplined bowling effort from the home side with his second century to give them a rare series victory. After Bangladesh scored 247 for nine, Zimbabwe closed on 251 for three, with Sabanda unbeaten on 103 and Sean Williams making 55. Following the game, Mushfika Rahim announced he will be standing down as Bangladesh captain. The 24-year-old took over the captaincy in September 2011, replacing Shakib Al Hassan, subsequently leading the team to a first-ever Test draw against Sri Lanka and an ODI series win against the West Indies. However, he has led the team to just one Test win, which came against Zimbabwe earlier in the tour, as well as just seven ODI wins and five 2020 international successes since his appointment. Chennai Super Kings got back to winning ways by puncturing Sunrisers Hyderabad's proud unbeaten run at home during the Indian Premier League 2013, convincingly running out 77-run victors in Hyderabad. In a clash between arguably the tournament's most powerful batting lineup and the competition's best bowling attack, Chennai, led by Suresh Rainer's 99 not out, emerged well ahead. Reiner's 52 ball innings and 67 from Mike Hussey steered them to a ground record 223 for three, before Hyderabad could only manage 146 for eight. They had briefly threatened through Partiv Patel and then Karan Sharma before their challenge faded, and they now lie in fifth place with an inferior net run rate to Royal Challengers Bangalore, who also have 14 points. Chennai, meanwhile, have moved further ahead of the chasing pack. They have 20 points and a very healthy net run rate. And finally, it looks as if South Africa will have to do without former captain Graham Smith for the Champions Trophy after news broke tonight that he is set to return home to have surgery on an ankle. He has been in England leading Surrey, although injury has curtailed his spell with the London-based side and he would appear to be set for another spell on the sidelines. The Champions Trophy gets underway in early June.